Hello everyone, nice to have you all back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic, ABS system, control light goes on, flickering and such. ABS was introduced with the Mark III models starting in 1985. We got a 560SL from 1987 with Euro bumpers and Euro headlights being mounted when re-imported to Europe. Right after firing up the engine, the ABS warning light goes on, stays on while driving. In an earlier video, we were already dealing with a similar topic concerning ABS sensors. A link is in the drop down at top left corner of screen. We start with checking the two front axle ABS sensors, then move on to the rear axle. A little difficult to reach the sensor of the rear axle, but never mind. We start right here after the introduction. to check if they are still functioning and if not where to look for the culprit. Unplug the socket, simply disconnect this plug, socket and plug, just pull, it won't break. This is the socket. Use a generic multimeter and connect one pin by plugging it into the cable hole, into the center hole. The other one between housing and the outer ring in order that they do not touch set meter on AC let us move on to the wheel arch, need to turn the brake disc to see a result. To get to the sensor you need to get rid of the rim. The assembly is being held in place with two inboard bolts. This is it, a simple mechanical sensor. Dirty isn't it? We will give it a wipe for sure. I put it back in place to check if he is still making contact with that notch in a disc behind that brake disc. Simulation of a turning wheel. Therefore, that notch needs to pass the sensor and every time when doing so, current is altering, please see display. As you see, still working all right. We will have a look at the right hand side of car now. Same procedure, you see the insulation of the cable is cracked, damaged. Well, let us unplug that socket first, we deal with that later. Here we got that sensor, just as dirty as the other one on the other side. Insulation has cracked here as well. They place it in that clip, surely factory mounted. Someone has been here before. See that zip tie? Someone has been here. They tied it together with the wear sensor of the brake pads and whenever you turn your steering wheel, this cable is bending, wear and tear after 40 years. Sensor back in place, let us check on this side here, still working, you see? Right here is the sensor for the rear axle, only one at the rear axle, held in place with only one imbus bolt, getting the signal from a disc with a notch, same system like at the front axle, sensor is placed where the drive shaft enters the differential. Diameter of the rear axle sensor is smaller in comparison to the front axle sensor. 15 mm at the rear axle, 18 mm at the front, for some reason, whatever.
gunk and dirt all over. We need to give it a wipe first. Then we need to remove the rear seats to get to the cables. Here we go. To get to the cables, you need to remove the jump seat. This cable here being attached to the sidewall with that socket next to the airbag propulsion. Disconnect it, attach multimeter to the two pins. That's it. Some models have these terminals, easy to use as well to measure current. Multimeter attached, turning the disc now. Display shows digits, okay. These are not the malfunctioning parts. Tata, tata. Footwell, driver side, voltage peak protection relays, 10 ampere fuse blown. Shit. I would have started looking here first, but the symptoms such as high revs when idling did not occur. Well, never mind. We found it. Fuse got replaced. ABS light went off right away. Job done. While the car is in the shop, I had a look at the X92 diagnosis box looking for codes indicating malfunctions of the SRS control unit, the airbag control unit. Nothing to be found there either. A simple fuse caused all that hassle, but been checking all the sensors gave them a wipe. They are functioning well, front axle and rear axle as well for sure. Well, blown fuse did not give me high revs, so I did not look there from the beginning. Never mind, my fault. I've learned the lesson the hard way. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you around next time. Bye bye everyone. Ciao.